they host the University of Maryland Terrapins. The conference standings going into this game. Carolina will clinch the championship with a win. They already are assured a tie. The battle is for second and third place because those teams, second and third, won't have to face Carolina in their bracket of the ACC tournament. And forward for Maryland, number 34, a 6 eight sophomore from Landover, Lem Bias. Number 23, 6'5", junior from Wilmington, North Carolina. Jordan Fresh from a 32-point performance yesterday. Matt Doherty left alone. Misses, but it's beautifully by Jordan. Oh, he is so good at that particular move, following a missed shot. Ooh, he nearly stole that one. And Bias nails it from 15. So Maryland on the board. It's 4-2 Carolina. Jordan drops it home to Michael Jordan. Has four points. It's a 6-2 Carolina lead. 12-6. The Tar Heels lead it. Jordan with a move on the baseline. And averaging 19 points a game. Jordan has six in the early going today. Len Bias over Jordan. Ooh, what a rebound. against the man with the ball. Wide open is Bias. Ooh, he got it down the hole in a hurry, didn't he? He makes that first step real fast. Bias is left alone again. And Jordan picks up the foul. There it is, right there. Jordan's second foul. He thought he got all ball, but that was not the call. Here's another look. Oh, is he quick, though? Yeah. He got a lot of leather. Might have caught the wrist. Jordan goes out with two fouls and ten and a half minutes left in the first half. 20 to 12 to score. Len Bias from Landover, Maryland. Grew up two miles from Cole Field House on the University of Maryland campus, so he can almost walk from home to practice. Some people consider that he has a shot at making the all-ACC team at the forward position. It's kind of questionable. And he's averaging 11, check that, 14 and a half points a game and four and a half rebounds this year. Len Bias, it's 22-15, and Bias has eight. That's Exxon on Gatlin. Beautiful feed to number 34, Len Bias. Gatlin, you can see why they like him. He finds the open man. Michael Jordan, certainly he'll be one of the candidates for most valuable player. We'll have that announcement in the second half. Michael's so quick. His body is someplace. I think his mind is someplace else. I think his mind is where the move is. Michael Jordan. Oh, what a fake. And then a dish <laughs> off to Perkins and a block by Coleman. Beautiful fake that time. With excellent pass underneath the Sam. Jordan is free from the side and nails it. 40 to 36. Jordan has eight. Yeah, many feel it's the best one-two punch ever in college basketball. Jordan with a steal. Hale with a shot. And the rebound by Adrian Branch. Coleman. And there's Jordan. Beautiful dunk on this end. Hale. Perkins had it for a moment, knocked away. Gatlin again, three on three. Freshman pulls up. Blocked by Hale. I don't think that was a shot. I think he was going to pass it, Al. Whatever he was going to do, he wasn't going to get it off because Michael was right there. I watch Michael kind of floating back there. And all of a sudden, he puts on his afterburner. Goodness, I thought it was Hale, and it was Jordan from the other side. Look at that. Sensational athlete. There's a trap in the corner. If the ball comes, there's the trap. That's a 1-3-1 one, one trap. You should know that. That leaves Coleman alone, and Jordan blocks him. And fouls him. God bless referees. It's so difficult to call these shots. So difficult. Oh, he is so quick and leaps so well. And on the other end, most referees seem to be small. I don't know why. And, you know, they're looking up all the time. Everything's above the rim. Third foul on Jordan. Hard to tell from the replays. Coleman. Oh, followed in by Bias. Bias from really up there. Maybe he should be first team forward all ACC. That's the closest Maryland has been. Carolina has led throughout, had as much as a 12-point lead in the middle of the first half. Michael Jordan. 
Jordan wants it. He's got it. Well stocked with talent again as University of Maryland coach Lefty Drizel. Wide open. Piece of cake. Van Bias gives Maryland the lead, 53-52, and Bias has 16. Jordan from outside. Michael Jordan with 14, and Carolina leads by four with nine minutes left. Coleman back to Atkins around Doherty. Ran into trouble. Look at Hale. He has the NBA salivating his play. He wouldn't have to score a point, and he could be a most valuable player with his defensive work. Maryland has to play man-to-man. -man. Back door. Matt Doherty with five minutes left. 14 unanswered points. Yeah, they're spreading it out. Here we go. Here we go. They call an offense, but it's still a... What a man to have in this kind of offense. Comes, he gives him a rocking chair move there. Now right into Ben Coleman. Watch Ben come over. <laughs> and he gives him a little look. That says, in your face, man. Coleman committed the foul. Jordan, a three-point play. And Carolina blowing out Maryland in the final minutes of this game. Boy, just to watch Jordan put on the show, though, is the entertainment value. Beal misses again. Here he comes. Oh, my. ball to Jordan at four corners. All the five Maryland players look at each other and say, you take him. I don't want him. You take him. They'll take this guy to school right now. This is Branch on him. You take him to school. Oh, no. what a pass. Oh, oh, he's putting the show on. It's showtime. Answering is Len Bias for Maryland. Now, this is the kind of performance Jordan in one half. Many players, good players, would have to go a whole year to get this in their highlight film. He does it in one half. He wants to do something else, too. I expect one more explosion from him, then Dean Smith will take him out. Watch him explode here. He's kind of toying. He knows the crowd's watching him. He wants to do his thing. The pass is unbelievable. He faked that pass to Sam Perkins, who's on the right side, and put it over the Brad Doherty on the left. Well, you couldn't see after the pass when Jordan went back on defense. He was happier about that pass than any play today. Here comes the final icing on the cake. Here it is. Here it comes. He, he climbed up Father Gill like he was in the Himalayas. <laughs> he wanted to entertain us. He wanted to do one more thing. Here he comes. Look, he's going up steps in the Tibet. <laughs> one step, two steps, three steps. <laughs> oh, he is an amazing athlete. We have okay. a timeout. Raise the white flag. It's all over, Dean. Get him out of there. What do you call Michael Jordan? Anything he wants you to call. It was showtime for Jordan late in the game, and you appeared to be enjoying. When you got to the four corners, you could almost see those eyes sparkle all the more, Michael. Well, I just took advantage of the opportunity presented to me. Uh, I felt that I could beat Adrian at one point in time, and you know, I just penetrated and passed off and you know, took the shot when it was available. Michael, who do you think you can't beat on the one-on-one? -on -one? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, I had some good defenders in the year, this past year, and, uh, you know, I know I'm going to face a lot more in the future, but, you know, I just want to work hard and do the best I can. Are you looking for the Olympics? I'm hoping for it. I'm looking for the Olympics, and, you know, I hope to get a chance to try out. Final question. Who do you vote for for the college basketball player of the year? Quickly. It's hard to decide. You know, there's a lot of players in the nation, and I haven't seen all of them, so I can't pray for my vote. Tough to vote against the guy next to you. Sam Perkins, Michael Jordan, thank you for the visit. Thank you for another outstanding performance.